Hey guys, it's HodgePodge here. Apologies if I sound a bit bunged up at the moment. I've got a cold, so my nose and my throat are all being kind of weird at the moment. So if my voice sounds a bit weird, that's why. But today, we are going to be doing a review of the Primeval Series 1 Abbey Maitland figure, along with the small Rex, Dodo, and the tiny little Parasite. Okay, so... Let's get into the first figure, and that is Series 1, Abby Maitland. This clothing is how she appears in Series 1, Episode 4, which is fistling the Dodo and Parasite episode. If the camera will focus... This is always the issue, isn't it? There we go. Okay, so the face of, first of all, looks just like Hannah's spirit. I think they did a really good job capturing her facial features as always with these figures by character the hair looks excellent the details really good the eyes are very striking blue nose and the mouth excellent really nice detail on the neck there and move down pink top love love the patterning on the, the top here and on the back look at the detail on the, all these folds and wrinkles on the shirt fantastic detail and speaking of detail on the clothes the jeans look amazing we've got back pockets here oh I didn't even notice that tiny little label there wonderful the texture they've got here and the little rips wonderful and the boots as well the amount of detail they've managed to get onto these tiny shoes and how they open at the tops, wonderful, just fantastic. I think this is a really nice and a very um, striking, um, what do you call it, outfit they could have picked for the figure, as it really stands out, with all the other characters being pretty dark, so we've got this bright pink top, really helps stand out, it's very fitting of a character. Of course we've got standard articulation, got swivel joints, elbow, wrist, I don't know if she can hold... Oh, of course she can. She doesn't come with any weapons, so don't really need to worry about that. But if you have the other figures that do come with weapons, you can, of course, put them in her hands. Oops. Bump in the camera. There we go. So you can have her holding a gun if you really want to. Uh, swivels at the waist as well. At the neck. You can, <laughs> If you really want, you can have like that, which is terrifying. The waist as well, which is... Uh, really stiff and I don't know why you'd want this because it just looks very weird but options there oops uh, I've got hip joints spread eagle uh, bend at the knees this is the best way to help a stand that's my main problem with these figures a lot of them don't stand as well as I'd like to but that is my only problem with them really uh, swivel at the ankles they don't really twist that well probably because the boots are so big but just really, really well done. Looks just like the actress. Wonderful. Easily one of my favourite human characters that Primeval of uh, that character have made for Primeval. So really good job with uh, Abby. And if she'll stand, that would be amazing. Oh, she doesn't want to. There we go. Next up, we've got everyone's favourite lizard. Not quite lizard. That is Rex, the Silura Cerevus from the Permian period. Now there are two other Rex figures. Oops, bumping the camera again. But I don't own either of them. This is the only one I own, unfortunately. There's the big soft plush one and the um, RC copter thing that with the wings. That was really cool. I actually owned that as a child, but that has long since been broken and lost and I have no interest in buying another one to be honest because it's just going to sit there I'm not going to play with it and they're really expensive this tiny tiny little figure has been so well done like you can see the head crest there you can just barely make out tiny little eye nostrils on the face and these wings we've got this lime green underneath and on the uh, the front of the wings and then this darker green around the tips and then these really striking red spots and then on the underside got this very light yellowish green and the legs are the darker green and the long tail 
and it's just adorable. Rex, not very accurate to the real life Silurus Aravis, but Primeval's never been about accuracy, so I'm not going to fault them. If it, in terms of show accuracy, this is wonderful, considering how absolutely minuscule this figure is. It is wonderful, adorable. I think everyone and their grandmother loves Rex, myself included. Wonderful little figure. Next we have the Dodo. Dodo's, of course, being famous for going extinct, endemic to uh, the island of Mauritius. Went extinct very recently due to human hunting. Got all humanity. And this figure has been really, really well done. Like, look at the head. The beak is just wonderful. The eyes and the f the uh, the coloration. We can see we've got this white feathers here, and then highlighted with the brown feathers, and then the rest of the body is this dark grey. The wings as well. We've got the primaries are white, and then hinted with brown, and then the rest is dark grey. And the chest as well. I keep bumping the camera. We've got this brown, white, brown, grey again, and the legs. So well done, got classic bird feet slash theropod feet because dinosaurs and the cute little tail which has the white and brown feathers again. Wonderful. It's so well done, it's such a cute little figure as well. And it stands! It actually stands, which is such a nice change of pace from so many figures. And last but not least we have this nasty little guy, the... Parasite, which may or may not be from the future. I love the lore that you, well, that you can interpret from Primeval. This and the Dodo appear in um, uh, Series 1, Episode 4. And look at the detail put on this disgusting little parasite. Like every single segment is visible and the mouth part it's like oh it's so gross but so well done you can just barely make out those tiny little pinprick eyes and what I was talking about the extended lore is that this may be from the future because there's no evidence of it in the fossil record oops um, and uh, this was the first time primeval just made up a, a creature and so I love out the idea of animals traveling to different times, including human history, influencing stuff like folklore. And so, the thing for um, the parasite is that it's thought that maybe it inspired um, the legend of vampires and vampirism as the symptoms are very similar as the, uh, the parasite would make the dodos very aggressive and bite everyone and that's how the uh, parasite would find a new host and reproduce and vampires of course suck people's blood so they're both biting and we have no idea where this thing came from so we don't know if it's from the past the future we never find out but that's totally fine by me and like the future predator is another example of um, possibly inspiring folklore maybe that was the inspiration for El Chupacabra, which I think is just wonderful and it spans the show in a ton of ways and it's such a cool aspect. And this was such an interesting concept as it's typical because Primeval's a, a, a dinosaur show, if you want to call it that, it's cool to see that not every threat has to be this big, bewildering beast and the threat can come from something so minuscule and they cause so much trouble and they have done such a perfect job and what I like to do knew that was going to happen is uh, I like to attach it by the end of its tail to this unfortunate dodo's beak because <laughs> it perfectly fits on and it kind of replicates that scene in the episode where they're um, doing the um, autopsy on its body and it slivers out of its beak very cool, very, very cool. And if you want, you could have it maybe attacking Abby. <laughs> Moves on. Oh, not Rex, though. Rex is too precious for this world. <laughs> okay, I think that's just about it. Wonderful, wonderful figures. And you get all four of these. If you can somehow find these, probably eBay is your best bet. 
if you can somehow find these and you're a fan of the show, I recommend getting these because all four of them are wonderful. I actually got two Dodo figures, but I thought there wasn't much point in showing the other one because they're basically identical. I got two, I don't know if that's the case with all of them, but if you're a fan of Primeval, like I said, get these figures. They are so, so well done. Yeah, I think that's all I have to say. Um, let's measure these guys up. I have a feeling that Abby is going to be five inches tall, as that's what all these figures are. The human figures, I should say. And yep, there we go, five inches. Oops, there you go, five inches. Which is about 13 centimeters exactly. Tiny, tiny little Rex there is about maybe three centimeters wide if even that and about four centimeters long or three and a half it's hard to tell these are so small uh ooh. yeah you stand up little dodo dodo you're about uh six centimeters tall thereabouts and in terms of length uh say five centimeters then this tiny tiny little parasite just Barely. I think, are we talking just one and a half centimeters tall exactly? So absolutely minuscule. And yet, it's amazing how much detail I've managed to get into it. Okay, I think that's all I have to say. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will see you guys next time. Bye bye now.